way to judge any president's decision is whether it's made American uh, people safer. Uh, generals, uh, ask all three of you, you have both noted that the Taliban has not severed its relationship with Al Qaeda. President Biden stated on July the 8th that Al Qaeda is gone from Afghanistan. I'd ask you, is Al Qaeda gone from Afghanistan? Generals? Uh, Senator, I think Al there are remnants of uh, Al Qaeda still in Afghanistan. Does anyone believe that Al Qaeda has, is gone from Afghanistan? President Biden stated at the United Nations recently that this nation is no longer at war. Is it your personal view that Al Qaeda is no longer at war with us? Uh, the start of the start of the, to the right, General. I believe uh, Al Qaeda is in Afghanistan. I believe they have aspirations to reconstitute, and if they develop the capability, I believe that they have aspirations to strike. Uh, it's too early in the process right now, Senator. Well. To determine no the longer. capability, but I do believe they Do you believe that the, uh, the personal view that was stated that Al Qaeda is no longer at war with us right now? Okay. I think Al Qaeda is at war with the United States still and never has not. Thank you. Does the withdrawal from Afghanistan increase or decrease the li likelihood of an Al Qaeda or ISIS attack on the U.S. homeland? Uh, you asking me, Senator? Uh, sure. My, my, my view is that um, it makes it much more difficult for us to conduct uh, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, find, fix functions, and then we can strike almost from anywhere in the world. But the find, fix function, it's more difficult. Uh, we can still do it. It's not impossible, okay. but it'll make it more difficult. General Milley and General McKenzie, we entrusted security to the Taliban, but they failed to prevent the ISIS-K suicide bomber on uh, uh, August 26th, we, we don't really even know if they wanted to prevent it. Now we're in the same situation, trusting the Taliban to prevent our, uh, our attacks. Uh, the senator from Missouri brought up and, and talked again about the fact of what, what, is the, what is the situation right now and I think it's, we don't really, after this uh, several hours, have an answer to that. I do want to get, bring something in the record that I don't think has been put in the record already. And that is the conditions under which the previous president, um, uh, made, after making the statement about the Taliban, he, not only did the previous uh, president have conditions, and the conditions included having a presence a military presence, but they also had four other things that were stated uh, that were there was conditions. One, to prevent Al Qaeda and the terrorists from threatening the United States from uh, uh, Afghanistan. Secondly, to make statements and commandments um, uh, uh, to its members against the threatening United States, against threatening the United States. Thirdly, deny residence and visas and passports to those threatening. Uh, the United States allies, and fourthly, begin negotiations with Afghan, with the Afghan government. Those were conditions that would uh, were made at that time, and this has been stated several times. It's my opinion and the opinion of many who have testified at this hearing that uh, there were no conditions. It was, uh, I believe, that is is the case. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Senator Inhofe. 